So welcome everyone. This is Mayank Sharma. Today we are going to troubleshoot no such element exception. So I have some code in front of you. I'm going to run this program. I will be getting no such element exception. And I'm going to troubleshoot that. Okay. In front of you. My script for is what? Selenium will go to the facebook.com and we'll click on the create new account. And after clicking on create new account here, it will type it automation in the first name. So let's run this program. Right click and run as what Java application. So after running, you will be getting exception in your console. My class name is no such element error. Okay, no such element error. Line number 15, you can see I am having problem. So line number 15 is this. If you click on this, so then it is going to highlight the line. Now let's see which kind of exception it is throwing. You can see no such element exception it is throwing. Okay, so no such element exception we are getting on getting on this. Now there could be the three reasons for no such element exception. First reason is your locator might be wrong. Here you are using link text and we need to verify whether this locator is right or not. Okay, so I will go to the my browser open the inspector let's enlarge our inspector and click on this cursor or selector and mouse over on the create new account i need to enlarge this tag a and after that you will be getting the link text as what well, create new account so you need to compare this link text with the link text which is used in your program so here you, you can see there is an extra one T is there, which makes this link text as what incorrect. So if you remove this one extra T, your X path will become fine. Now, okay, so this locator is fine now. So in your case also, you need to verify your locator, whatever the locator you have used. Suppose you have used X path, then you need to check your X path. Okay, so let's run as a Java application and see the problem is get resolved or not clicking on create new account it should do create new account i think so it has successfully did you can see now still there is some kind of what error you can see in the console there is some more error but here the line number is different this time line number 16 no such element error line number 16 on this it is giving the error so second problem, as I said, it could be the reason of what synchronization. Synchronization problem means there is a speed mismatch between your Selenium and application. Okay. So you might have seen that. Okay. Whenever we click on the create new account, let's manually click on this create new account. It takes little processing time to load this sign up page, little processing time. But Selenium is not waiting for that. Selenium is firing every command with the equal speed. Hence, there is a synchronization problem, a speed mismatch problem. Okay. So for that purpose, we need to add some wait statement before line number 16, before line number 16. So here you can add thread dot slip or implicit weight or explicit weight. I will be giving the video of that in the bottom. You can refer that. Okay. So here you should use either implicit or explicit weight or thread dot slip also you can use. So for simplicity, I'm going to use thread dot slip. Thread dot slip for 2000 millisecond. 2000 millisecond means for two seconds, it is going to wait here. Who is going to wait? Selenium. Now here it is asking to handle the exception or uh, add throws declaration. So I will click on add throws declaration. The, your error is resolved. Now let's run. This time it should type automation. It has click on the create new account and see automation is also written. So second point for troubleshoot is what complete. Now third point, your element might be inside iframe. Your element might be inside iframe. Okay, so let's see that example also. I'm going to comment this Facebook example. 
and I am going to uncomment the Rediff example. So I will open the Rediff.com and try to type yes bank into this field. This field. Enter company and MF field. Okay. So let's run it whether it is doing or not. Job application. So here you can see in the console, there is some error. No such element error, line number 20. Okay, line number 20. So here it is a problem. Here, no such element exception you're getting. Why you're getting? Since this element is inside iframe, how will you come to know that? If you right click on this object, right click here, you will be getting view frame source view frame source that means this element is inside the iframe so if you do the inspection and if you do do the scrolling of little bit so here you can see tag name iframe you're able to see and the this is having id as what money iframe so you need to switch to the iframe then you will be able to do the send keys to this field so let's switch to the iframe I have created a complete video for handling iframe. I will provide the link at the bottom. You can refer it. So how to switch to the iframe driver dot switch to frame. And here I'm passing the ID of iframe that is money iframe. Give the semicolon. See, it is having the ID as money iframe and name also money iframe. So let's run it this time it should do successfully typing of yes bank see it has typed the yes bank here so we have seen three ways of handling no such element exception first one is your locator might be wrong locator might be wrong second is there might be speed mismatch problem synchronization problem third problem might be your object might be inside the iframe okay everyone so thanks a lot for watching this video have a great day